Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Uh, we're going to be talking about power over Ethernet, and one of its applications is with a uh, access point, Wi-Fi point, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to talk to you about one or two things. Uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos I'm putting out. If you subscribe, you'll be noticed. Also, hit the bell and uh, that will uh, give you a, uh, a, uh, an alert uh, when I put something out. Uh, also, if you think this video is worthwhile, uh, please uh, like it, and if you don't think it's worthwhile and it was a waste of your time, I understand, just hit the, uh, the do not like twice, and that will take care of that. Uh, please, comments, any comments, suggestions, anything else. I love comments, I love hearing. Uh, from most of the times I get back uh, to just about every comment, uh, every comment I understand what the question is. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about power over Ethernet, and uh, this is basically for homes, but you can also use it in a small business. Um, sometimes bigger businesses have uh, more complex systems, so we're not talking about big business here. We're talking about small business, home business, or uh, home applications. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about the product I have in front of me right now. Uh, one of them is a PoE uh, port. I had this open already, so this is not like a reveal where this is the first time I've ever opened. I had it open a couple months ago, just haven't used it yet. And I don't know if I'm going to use it uh, in my house, uh, but it's a great product. And uh, I know what it does and everything else. It has all this literature that no one ever reads. Um, and it has this little, box. it actually looks like a, um, what do you call it, Netgear uh, type of setup. It's probably made by Netgear somehow. But it's a PoE switch. And, uh, uh, you know, there's a, I have a video on the difference between a switch and a router and, uh, and, and a hub. Never, never, never use a hub. Hubs are junk. Throw them out. Don't even use them. If you got a hub in your system, replace it with a switch. Hubs slow down your network. They're old technology, they're not worth a penny. And you need to not only get them out of your system, but throw them out. I can't be any more emphatic than that. But anyway, this is a PoE uh, switch. And what does it mean? Power over ethernet. And of course, what happens is each of these ports provide power. And you need that sometimes with certain applications. And today when we talk about an, an access point, a wireless access point, we're going to be talking about why it's really great to have PoE uh, like this, and in this case it may be the only way you can uh, power it, and why you want a powered access point. Now, if you just look, you know, you can see that this power supply is considerably bigger than your average switch power supply. Um, our average switch power supply is going to be a lot smaller. If it's just a switch, things like this, this is an unmanaged uh, PoE switch, by the way, also, and, uh, uh, you know, go to my video talking about switches and routers, and we'll talk about what a uh, unmanaged PoE switch or an unmanaged switch is, and sometimes you need it. In most cases in homes, you do not need it, and um, uh, this is a, uh, a, a pretty, it's a pretty nice thing. Uh, it runs, uh, you know, it can run your uh, access point, it can run your uh, telephone if you have a VoIP telephone, pow you know, a voice over IP telephone, things like that, and some one or two other devices, sometimes cameras, things like that. But what you have to notice is that it has a limit, a power limit of its output, and I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Uh, but the bottom line is each one has a, a power out, you know, power uh, for each port, and also at the same time, the whole, the whole switch has a total power. So here, this is nice. It tells you the PoE max and things like that. So if you're getting near the, the top of its ability to supply power to the individual units, and that's what a PoE switch is, power over ethernet, it means it produces the power to run the product that you're attaching to. So if it's an AP site, an access point it's called, or you know, a Wi-Fi um, router, some people call, call them that, but it's AP sites, or APs, uh, access points. If you have one of those, this will power up that, and I'm only gonna use it for one um, uh, D-Link wireless access point, uh, so I'm not too concerned about the power. Now, years ago, I used to put in uh, Cisco uh, systems, and we uh, put in a system, 
uh, a, a, a voice over IP system up in Washington State. I do remember it because it was very painful because the phones had a higher requirement than the switch could supply. So we had a 24 port uh, switch, a PoE switch. We we're plugging in phones. Everything was coming up beautiful. Everything was looking great all the way till we got to about the 15th phone. And then all of a sudden all the phones went out and we couldn't figure out what it was. This is my first time we put in a PoE switch. This was many, many years ago, by the way, because PoE, power over Ethernet, has been around forever, it seems like, at least you know a decade and a half. Um, but it's a great little system. And what we found out that day and what I learned, which really hurt, because I had to buy another switch and, and have it shipped to us or find it, I don't remember, it's been many years, but eventually got the system up and running. But what I learned is you got to look at the bottom of the phone to see the, the total uh, wattage for that phone. And then not only that, but you got to add up all the equipment, all the, the stuff you're attaching to it to make sure it doesn't meet the, the maximum uh, for a switch. This is pretty good. I'm going to like this switch. I like the size, everything else. I like the fact it doesn't have a fan. I hate those fan noises. Especially if you put them in your house and you hear the fan noise all night long when you're trying to sleep. It doesn't work. Of course, they have other size switches you can see on the literature and read the literature. And so it, it does access points, IP cameras, and IP phones. And that's about all it needs power over Ethernet. It might be other devices that aren't as used so often. But the reason I want power over Ethernet is because I'm going to put in, not in my house, but in another place, I'm going to put in this um, D-Link uh, access point. Really nice access point. And, uh, of course, it has the ability to do power over Ethernet. And at the same time, it has the ability uh, uh, to have a uh, brick. A little power brick so you can do it either way I'm going to use it with power over Ethernet I'm going to bring the, the the patch cord in here I'm going to run the patch cord from here through the ceiling and it could be regular cabling also uh, through the ceiling to uh, my PoE port so this will power this access point and this is nice you know I don't see a lot of tiny antennas sticking out like I'm um, you know uh, in the latest uh, sci-fi movie or something and uh, you know, this is just nice and neat. And, and where I plan to put this little D-Link is I plan to put it up on the ceiling on a single family house. I mean, a single story house. And it's going to be up in the ceiling. It's going to be easy for me just to, to attach it right to the center of the building, up in, on top of the ceiling. I'm going to punch a little hole through there. And I'm actually going to run a patch cord. It's the easiest thing to do. I'm going to run a patch cord from the back of this. I'm going to mount this bracket first. So you mount the bracket first. I'm going to mount it up on the wall, and then once I mount it up on the wall, I'm going to bring my patch cord down. I'm going to attach it to, uh, to uh, this. It's going to be mounted on the ceiling. It's going to look like that. Got a little light. It's going to light up, things like that. It's going to look great. It's going to be very stylish in the house. It's a nice new house. It's going to look beautiful. Then at the other end, I'm going to attach the um, power over Ethernet switch, and uh, that will power the AP site. The AP point, you know, uh, thing. And that should cover the whole house. And that should deal with all the issues I have uh, with it. Everything else, uh, you know, that I need um, will be right there. I have no idea what this is. I don't know. Maybe I just threw it in the box when I opened the box. I have no idea. But at any rate, I hope this helps. If you're uh, a homeowner and you're going to put a... Um, you know, you want to put Wi-Fi all throughout your house, which I would advise at this point. Wi-Fi is really fantastic. I run a lot of devices, my TVs, I run my um, computers. I don't run everything over Wi-Fi. A lot of things are hardwire. Uh, but once you, you put a Wi-Fi site in and you give it a decent password, you know, I see these people that, that use stupid passwords, you know, like password with, they replace the S's with dollar signs and that could be easily guessed. Um, but it is against the law to break into someone's Wi-Fi site, by the way, uh, especially if they put a password on it. So if you break a password, you're breaking the law and you can actually get in trouble for that. I would not recommend it, that at all. But at any rate, this is a really nice thing. Down in uh, the uh, description, I'm going to put a link, uh, D-Link. I'm going to put this uh, link where you can buy these the two products. This is what I would recommend. They work really good and they work really well. Uh, I've used them before, that's how I know. They work fantastic. Very easy to put in, you can put them in in like minutes. Doesn't take uh, any time at all and it really looks nice. Now I say minutes, 
when you're dealing with a one-story house that you can get up into the attic and pull your your cable of course you can always pull a cable regular you know uh cat six cable category six cable and you could uh, one end you can put a uh you know a uh, jack and you can plug in a little uh, a little patch cord through the ceiling that attaches to here to the jack and then on the other end just put it down to a a, a patch panel or a jack also there in a surface mount box um, and you can see some of my other videos where I talk about that and I show it uh, how to do that or just buy a really long patch cord you know 50 foot 100 foot plug it in you know roll it out in this in, on top of the ceiling and then turn around and bring it down to where your uh, your router is and plug it in you know some routers have switches attached to them so you put this right next to this uh, to your router you take one of these and sometimes they mark them looks like five uh, five obviously does not have two lights on it that's probably where you would hook up your your jumper from here to your router or to another switch and uh, then once you do that and then you know your your patch cord that you ran over top of the ceiling again i'm talking about a single story house the easiest houses in the world to cable and houses are difficult to cable but in this case let's run that patch cord plug it in here run it through the ceiling plug it into your d-link you'll get a light it's going to be powered by this little device it's going to work absolutely fine it's going to connect right into your network it will pick up an ip address from your router you do not have to assign this an ip address it will automatically get an address from your router and uh, that should take care of it within minutes you should be up and running change the password change the password <laughs> please and you do that it gives you instructions on how to do that in the book here uh, i mean in the in the uh, the box that it comes with and so what you do then is you just change the password make sure it's a decent password do not use dictionary words uh, they're easily broken by software that someone wants to hack into your system but to be honest with you if you live in a house i mean you know it's going to go maybe 100 feet outside your house and that's going to be it the only people going to hack into it is a 15 year old kid next door uh, who wants to watch inappropriate stuff on the internet that's going to be it so just put a, a, a you know a simple I wouldn't say simple, put a, a, a good password on there and you'll be absolutely fine. You're going to be able to run your TV. You're going to be able to run your computers. You're going to be able to do a lot just on one Wi-Fi setup and um, on one AP site. And it, it's, just, it's just great. It's easy. You don't have to cable down walls and put jacks all over the place. It's just not there anymore. It's not needed. If you got them, great. You, you know, you can put this up on the side of the wall too. You know like that just stick it up on the side of the wall maybe a foot off from where the jack is take a patch cord plug it in here plug it into the jack at the other end where it comes out on a patch panel you take it you, you take it from the patch panel you put it in here and you're up and running also well i hope this has been helpful please please don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, so you don't miss any of our vital fantastic videos that will give you information that you will never find anywhere else and of course, if you like it, uh, hit the like button. If you hate it, hit the, uh, the thumbs down button twice. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you have a great day.